Hello and welcome back. We have such a fun video planned for all of you today. We have the new $5 pattern of the month for October. And then I am going to be showing you a little quilt top that I need help deciding on fabric. So I'm gonna be asking your opinion on that. And then we have a fun interview with my sister, Nicole, because she has finished her first quilt. We're going to be showing you that. I have some questions I'm going to be asking her and I think it's just going to be so much fun. So stick around. <laughs> First up, let's talk about the $5 pattern for October. Now, before I share this, I do want to let you know that if you missed out on purchasing the September $5 pattern, you know that my Etsy shop has been closed for the last two weeks. It's back open today. So that September $5 pattern is still available through the end of the month. So if you missed out on that, you can still purchase it for the remainder of the month. You can also purchase Barn Star 4 as the October pattern of the month. So I'm putting this one up just a little bit early. So both of those two patterns, September's was Warm Hearted and October's is Barn Star 4 are available in my Etsy shop for $5. I have my shop information linked in the description box below the video and both patterns are available in either a PDF or a paper shippable version. This, as I said, is Barn Star 4. I have a series of barn star quilt patterns. They are all 40 inches square. Currently there are eight barn star patterns. You will be seeing number nine very soon. I'm excited to share that one with you. But back to this one, number four, these fabrics are from my Sugar Creek line of fabric. Sugar Creek was an older line. It came out a few years ago. So these fabrics are harder to find. So I will have mocked up over on my blog, some different colorings of fabrics that are currently in quilt shops. So if you wanted to see this in some fabrics that you can purchase easily right now, be sure to check out that blog post. I have that linked below in the description box as well. Yardage wise, I'm gonna lay this here, talk about that a little bit. This is a yardage based quilt, which means it doesn't use pre-cuts, you're purchasing yardage. And the requirements are here, but I also have them over in the Etsy listing so you can easily see those so that you know if you need to purchase anything in advance or if you might have what you need already in your stash. So that I think is everything I need to say about Barn Star 4. If you have questions about this pattern, be sure to let me know. And as I said, the Etsy shop is now open so you can shop over there again. All right, we're gonna move in to that little quilt top that I mentioned a couple weeks ago. When was it? Maybe the first, first Saturday or so in September, I shared a tutorial for, let me just grab everything here. I shared a tutorial for the cupcake mix papers. And in that video, I showed how we use the cupcake mix papers. And then I said I'd be sharing the quilt as I worked on it. Well, I have it done. So I'm going to show you this little, I have it mostly done. I haven't ordered those board. I haven't added the borders yet. So that's where you guys come in. But I wanted to show you the completed quilt top center. Is this cute little quilt here. Again, this was made using those cupcake mix papers, a whole bunch of half square triangles. I used a charm pack of Lighthearted by Camille Raskelly, and I used a charm pack of my white on white coriander seeds fabrics. And it made this adorable little mini quilt. But I don't want a mini quilt. I want a nice throw sized quilt so that I can have some more options with what I do with it when it's completed. Let's look at this here. And in that video, I shared, you know, my plan for how I was gonna piece it, what I thought I might do. And so far I am right on target. So the next thing that I need to do is add wide borders. Right now, this quilt is 24 across by 30 down. So just very small. And I want it to be more like 48 by 60. So I'm going to add very wide borders to the sides and the top and bottom. And what I am looking at adding would be either this fabric or this fabric. So the same print, but one is the red background, one is the pink background. These two are both from my Beautiful Day line of fabric, and I think either one of them would be really pretty. 
I look at one side and I think, oh yes, I like that better. But then I look at the other side and I think, oh, maybe I like that side better. So I can't choose which one I like better. So I'm leaving it up to you. You guys vote below, vote red or pink. If you hate both of them, you don't need to leave a comment. <laughs> but you can vote for either one of these two choices and whichever one gets the most votes is what I'm going to use for my border. So it's all in your hands. Choose your own adventure quilt and I will add whichever one gets the most votes. So I'm excited to see what you guys think. And I really can go either way. I like them both. So you guys let me know. All right. Next up on our agenda, oh, and I should say, I will make sure and link to where I talked about the cupcake papers and that tutorial. So if you wanted to see how I made this quilt, you, you can watch that video if you missed it earlier. But now, without further ado, I'm going to bring my sister Nicole in. She's usually behind the camera, but I'm gonna have you snag that stuff as you walk past, bring it on over. And here we go. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is Nicole. So she's very much used to being behind the camera. She took yes. over camera duties from Ryan. How long ago would you say? I mean, it's been a few months. Yeah, probably six months. I, I think six say, months. Yeah, like that. yeah. So it's been Not a little exactly while. So sure. usually, she's behind the camera. Now, how long have you been working for me? I think it's been a year. A like, year. Okay. Right That's around what I a was year. Thinking. Yes. I thought we had been at a year. Mm -hmm. So Nicole handles. Well. I'll let you tell, oh, okay. tell them. What do you usually do when you work for me? Usually shipping. I get to do a lot of shipping, which I actually like really love. <laughs> so it turns out really good okay. or it works out really good. Um, shipping and then more so miscellaneous tasks miscellaneous, after that. Yeah. Like it can really vary. Like sometimes I'll do like cutting out fabrics for you to sell in bundles. Um, sometimes organizing. She's very good at organizing. I love organizing. <laughs> Which is great because <laughs> I'm not always the most organized. I feel like super creative people don't necessarily like love organizing is what I found. Maybe. I like, think it's easier though if you do stay organized because I can sometimes spend a fair amount of time. Well, for example, one task I had Nicole do this week was pulling some quilts for a video that we're going to share later. Mm -hmm. And my quilts are not organized at all. And Nicole spent quite a bit of time pulling the quilts yeah. that we needed for that video. Mm -hmm. So, because I, I, I don't recognize that. Like, I'm like, I don't have any background in quilting, like none. <laughs> I am not the creative person. <laughs> so to find a quilt, like from looking at a picture, like I really had to like open each one up and like really examine it. <laughs> so if I had a better knowledge of quilts, I feel like it probably wouldn't have taken me so long. <laughs> well, I think, I think it's funny that you say you're not creative because mm. you are very creative in other ways. Um, for example, Nicole is a very good, party put her on her. Oh, honor. yes. <laughs> Love hosting yeah. parties. Yeah, and so she's the one who, if you go to a party at her house, like everything is beautiful oh, yeah. and the food is displayed beautifully <laughs> and we have little vignettes of beautiful foods. That's true. Um, I yeah. do really enjoy And that. she has, mm -hmm. so she did all of the, well, a lot of the decorating and food for my daughter Chloe's graduation oh, yes. party. Yes. You did the mm -hmm. same sort of thing for my mother-in-law's oh, birthday. Yeah. Day party. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, that was, what, a lot was that of her fun. 75th birthday. 80th. 80th. It was her 80th See, I would party. Have lost track of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, so she's yeah. very creative in ways that I am not. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we have you here today because you have finished your first yes, quilt. Yes, I finished my first quilt. Let's hold this up. Yeah. So. Let's see. This is the way. You take this side. Mm -hmm. This is a calliope quilt, and Nicole made it using starberry fabrics. We mixed in just a little bit of coriander colors, but mostly starberry, and it is the perfect quilt to be finishing up this time of year as we head into the holidays. So I have... So, well, let's show them this up close. Let's okay. lay this on mm -hmm. the table mm -hmm. here so they can see it here. Let me move this stack of goodies out of the way. If you're unfamiliar with the Calliope quilt pattern, this is a free quilt pattern that I have available. And it is super simple and beginner friendly, as yes. noted by, <laughs> by a yes. very beginner making very, this quilt. Very, very incredibly beginner. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is fun because it does not look like it's a beginner friendly quilt. It looks like it could be tricky. It looks like the angles might be kind of difficult, but first quilt Nicole ever made. Yep. Here it is, mm -hmm. all right. Okay, so we'll leave that there. Let me grab my 
notebook of questions. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys have any questions that you think of as you're watching this interview with Nicole, that you think would be fun to hear her ideas about, let us know and we'll see if we can make that happen. Yeah, or I could even answer them in the comments. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are your initial thoughts about quilt making? I, when you first told me that you were gonna start me on a quilt, I was like, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like here it is. Like I would say, like I don't feel like I like really hated or really struggled with any of the steps. Like it came together very quickly. Um, and it was an enjoyable process. I really enjoyed it. I did probably, oh, maybe 20 years ago, I had a small four way foray into um, making like some dolls for one oh. of my friends. Don't like actual like stuffed dolls? stuffed dolls and okay. like sewing like out around so like that's... a really primitive doll. Okay. I hated it. <laughs> so I kind of came into it not thinking I was going to enjoy it just because mm -hmm. that sewing experience was not fun. This was great. It was good. It was really good. It just flowed. And yeah, I kept like waiting for like the step where I'd be like, oh man, like I'm not going to like this, but it was all fine. You did mention there was one step that you didn't prefer as much as some of the there others. There was. So when we got to the step that I had to trim into squares, um, I think some of them I had sewed my seams a little too large. So like when I had my square um, ruler, like I didn't have quite enough to trim off. Sure. And so then I was like, oh no, like this is gonna totally screw it up. It's gonna look horrible. But like, I mean, it's definitely not perfect here, but. I mean, it's looking pretty sharp. I, yeah, yeah. like I'm yeah. not sad about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, was it easier or harder than you thought? I think you kind of mentioned yeah. that. Yeah, easier, easier, much easier. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. I was thrilled with it. Yeah, like it was, it was very enjoyable, very therapeutic. And so, I wanted to mention too, Nicole worked on this quilt on days where maybe you didn't have shipping that took up the whole time, yeah. mm -hmm. or just maybe we had just in. a little bit of extra time. We were trying to think of how many days yeah. it was that she would have actually worked on it here and there. Mm -hmm. My best guess is it was probably less than 10 days. I would, would you say? say so. Yeah, probably less than more 10 Probably more than days. five. Yeah, more than five, less than 10. Yeah. yeah, and and during that, I don't think we ever had a day where you spent the whole time. It no. was just like little bits here yeah. and there. And like when I'm here, I'm only here for three hours at yes. a time. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, at the so, most, maybe two hours in one session, I yeah. would say. So not a huge amount of time. No. So it really mm -hmm. did go pretty it quickly. It came together very quickly. Okay. Yeah, very easily. Mm -hmm. Will you be making more quilts? <gasps> I will. I really enjoyed it. I've been thinking about what I could do. Um, there's an upcoming line, guys. <laughs> I'm very excited about. So yeah, I plan on making another quilt as soon as that line is available. I'm very excited. You about guys it. will get to see that in December-ish. I think December is when you guys get to see that. So you'll yes. get to see fabric sooner than that. Yes. Well, she's seen fabrics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because she works for me, she has the fun of seeing like mm. when the strike offs like come a, in. Good behind the scenes. scenes. <laughs> so she gets all of that insider information. Yeah. This it's... line coming up was, I think it's really neat. I'm going to share about it more. But the thing that tickled me the most about it was how excited your daughter got yes! over it. I have yes! never seen her. She's one. So one year olds aren't yeah. usually excited about fabric. No, she but she them. saw these fabrics and she grabbed them and she rubbed them on her face was and amazing. it was the cutest thing and she did it on more than one day yeah. every time she saw these fabrics mm -hmm. she would just grab them yeah. and like oh, she she's just loved also them. obsessed yeah it was so cute that's the favorite like usually we have to um you know kind of come up with a story about how we designed the fabrics so that we can share that with quilt shops when they're ordering um but my story is going to come at that point in time rather than the beginnings <laughs> of it because it's my favorite part of that fabric line i yes. think it was just so cute it was the cutest thing yeah Okay, so you're probably going to make a quilt with those yes, fabrics. Yes, Okay, well, that'll mm -hmm. be fun. Yeah. We'll keep you Very updated exciting. on that, too. Yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing it, I'll show oh, it to yeah. you guys. We might have to have you come back. Let us know if yeah. you need Nicole to come back and keep sharing her <laughs> quilt-making journey. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Have you thought about how you want to finish your calliope quilt? Okay, so I actually, so when I was making this, like I know that Corey donates a lot of quilts and like that was kind of what I was thinking was that this was just going to be another donation quilt. But I just found out, I think this week, that I yeah. get to keep it. <laughs> so oops, I touched my mic. Um, but I'm so excited, that's so special. And like exactly what Corey said, like with the holidays coming up, this is gonna be so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had initially thought that we would donate it, but 
It's her first quilt. And I told oh. her that I still have my first quilt that I made. And it's not anything that I particularly like now. The fabrics are completely different from what I would choose now. But just having it is fun. Yeah. So, yeah, you so definitely excited. get to keep this quilt. Yeah. But now, okay, so you're going to keep it. Yeah. You need to decide on binding, quilting, yeah. and backing. What are your thoughts? So I've been hearing Corey talk a lot about minky. So that is very exciting to me, like that coziness and like yeah. wintertime, just cuddling up on the couch with that sounds amazing. So I think probably a black minky, I think is probably think what I'll go with. Really yeah. Um, quilting on it. Um, maybe if you guys have some great ideas, let me know. Uh, she was talking about in a previous video, like a snowflake design that kind of like piqued my interest. Um, I am kind of a little bit interested in like a novelty really? quilting, like You're maybe stars. Novel. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Might be too That's cutesy, entertaining. but like, no. I don't know. I really, I'm going to have to do some research because like I have no idea other than like the little bits I've heard Corey talk about on camera. Like I've never obviously like paid too much attention um, to quilting before, like to know what all is even out there. Yeah. There's so, lots. Yeah. There is sure lots there is to lots. choose from. And then you also get to decide like, do you want it? So if you go minky on your back uh -huh. and you do like a nice sort of loose, larger scale quilting design, it's mm -hmm. going to be more drapey and cozy oh. than if you choose like a really small tight quilting okay. design. So keep that in mind. Yeah, I probably would want it to be more drapey and yeah. cozy rather than stiff. Yeah. So maybe. It'll be fun. There's yeah, so I'm many sure. to choose from. I can easily <laughs> spend hours trying to decide a quilting wow, design. Yeah. And sometimes they just fall into place and other times yeah. it's a struggle. Mm -hmm, so, <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think yeah. you'll have fun. It is fun to choose quilting. Okay, yeah. so minky, maybe something novelty, holiday-ish, yeah. yeah. binding. Mm -hmm. I don't even, like, I have no idea on binding. I, I have a thought. Okay, yes. I don't know what it. you would like. So yeah. there's a black and white stripe okay, yes. in um, coriander colors yeah. that I think would be really... There's also a red and white stripe. <gasps> Ooh, I so, might go red and yeah, white. Yeah, red and white. And white. Yeah, I think one of those. I, I was kind one. of, yeah, in my mind thinking of something striped might be nice. So that's perfect that you mentioned that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think either one. Well, there would also be lots of other good stripe options if that's the way you're leaning. Okay. Or even a gingham. There's no ginghams oh, in here, but like a black gingham like or a, a gingham. red gingham. Oh, that could, could be, be really cute. Yeah. So you can oh, go boy. in Yeah. See, I don't know. even know like what the options are. Oh, like I, lots of options. Lots of options. <laughs> yeah. Those all sound lovely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think, do I have just, yeah. One final question. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice that you would share for new quilters? Mm. Oh boy. I feel like I really, you know, had it made with <laughs> making my first quilt. The fact that you were right there by my side. <laughs> so you need to have a quarry. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it made it so easy. Like if I had a question, like it was like, I mean, she had the answer immediately. And like, obviously she's an amazing teacher. So I really had it made. Um, yeah, I don't, I didn't, I didn't really struggle with yeah, anything. You, and you really didn't have a lot of questions. Um, may, the, when the needle came unthreaded on the oh, sewing machine. <laughs> that was probably my biggest hiccup. Yeah. I am not a good needle threader. Yeah. That, that was I feel like tough. that was maybe... I don't know. Yeah, I really struggled with I don't know that, that you had too many big questions. Mm -mm. Pressing, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but I will say, if you don't have a quarry in your sewing room when you are making a quilt, <laughs> there are so many YouTube videos and blog tutorials and just uh, local classes at your local quilt shop, things like that, where you can get a lot of hands-on help to those questions that you might have. So definitely take advantage of all of that. When I started making quilts, there was not the no. wealth of information online mm -hmm. that there is now. So we mm -hmm. are really fortunate to be able to have so much information at our disposal when we have questions. So that is a, a really great option that we have now. Yes, for sure. All right, well, I think that wraps up this video. This has been fun having yes! you on. <laughs> yes, it's exciting to be on this side of yeah, the camera. <laughs> was it scary? No, I mean, because you've like, been, she's been on this side of the camera with a yeah. previous job. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that helps a lot, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. It yeah. does, yeah. So yeah. if you want Nicole to come back again in a future video, or maybe there are topics or something that you think would be fun to have her on, it's always fun to hear the perspective from a beginning quilter as opposed yeah. to someone who's been making quilts for a little bit longer. Um, you just have, you know, different things that maybe I don't think about or yeah. information maybe I would take for granted. So if you want to yeah. have her back, if you have topics you'd like to hear in a future video, let us know. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by and I will catch you again next time.